The honour of firing the starting gun for the nation's jubilee celebrations was given to a new Navy destroyer with the best possible name, HMS Diamond. Hundreds of people gathered to watch her sail into Portsmouth Harbour while firing a 21-gun salute in honour of the Queen. You don't see a 21-gun salute very often, so, yeah, I want to see it and hear it. At the coronation, I was 13, and so, wow, this is fantastic. Still to be around to see this. The sailors gave the Queen three cheers as they lined the decks, and overhead flew helicopters and a typhoon jet in diamond formation. You could hear all the cheers coming from the crowd and all the flags were waving, so a very proud moment. Yeah. All eyes are on us, really, coming into Portsmouth, kick-starting everything, so... It's been a good day? Yeah, brilliant. Well, after the 21-gun salute comes the celebration. This is a street party, Navy style. Along with the flags and party food, there was a special Jubilee cocktail and a royal toast. Her Majesty the Queen. Queen. In readiness for the weekend of Diamond Jubilee fun and festivity, towns and villages across the south of England have been decorated with yards of bunting and plenty of flags. Here in Swanage, there was time for some last-minute additions and adjustments. And some shopkeepers embraced the royal mood. In Bournemouth, the O'Neill family have established a reputation for dressing up their house for the big royal occasions. We just think it's great. We did the same for the royal wedding, so I think people expected it, really. So, yeah, it was great. Cheers! Cheers. They've been making a big jubilee effort in Lymington, and in Winchester, with all of its ancient associations with the Crown, it's all looking very regal for the Diamond Jubilee weekend, with more decorations fit for a Queen. In Andover, there's a huge illuminated sign at the Guild Hall, although everyone is hoping it doesn't rain too much for Her Majesty over the weekend. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today.